Deer into Concord's Metro Ballistic Missile Run. No of the run. Number 21 and verse 1. My son. The those things which God before had shewed by the mouth of all his Why do we live in these conditions? Because these are not good conditions. That's not down the Because we are a rebellious people. So you have an ass like, why do we get persecuted? How can we survive? But our people are so destroyed, they actually think that this is normal. This is not normal. You know, it's not normal to be out here with trash all over the place. You got bullet holes at the bus stop. You got people passed out, either drunk or on drugs. This is not normal. This is a bad condition. So why do we live like this? The brother's going to show you. Just give him a few minutes. Show him why we curse so he can understand the importance of knowing who you are. And more importantly, what we can do to lift these curses. Because that's what he's teaching. What you going to do in a see his identification. We don't need to see his identification. These aren't the droids you're looking for. These aren't the droids we're looking for. He can go about his business. You can go about your business. Move along. Move along. Move along. The book of Psalms of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 5. I am black. I am black, but comely. Black and handsome. Yes. That's what he's saying. So right. this is right. Christ's forefather. Right. King Solomon was what? We have remember that out of, there's actually 13 tribes. Okay, as well. so. And one well, of them definitely tribes. was the tribe of black. Okay, Absolutely. so now. That's how when. That's so now, what is your forefather? Where's your, huh? where's your forefather? So, some people say the cucumbers taste better pickle. What? Huh? What? <laughs> huh? What is your dad? Who was your dad? My dad's German. My mother. So then you. My then, mother's mother's mother was Jewish. So okay. I'm Hebrew. I'm. It goes by your dad. Irish, no. So then, not, according not to the Bible. Hebrew. God for Hebrew goes by your mother's mother. Well, let's get the numbers right. Yeah, got, if, if, you got to teach them. Okay, so. I know. So, I, so, I go so, to hold synagogue hold on, all the time. Right, listen, 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 listen to the Bible. This is the Old Testament. The book of Numbers, chapter 1, verse 18. Watch this right here. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigree. So this is how you declare your pedigree. After their families, by the house of their fathers. So it goes by your father. So you said your father was German, right? Right. So he's but a German Caucasian, actually, right? If you actually read the 
Torah, which is the Jewish Bible, which is done before King James or anybody let's, else interprets it. Let's deal with that. It, 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 it's, it's a different. Go to Revelation 2 and it, A let's lot deal of this stuff was changed to men instead of women. Okay, so let's deal with them. And we know that. Let's they, deal with the Jewish. The let's deal with. The Bible to be what they want to let's deal with the Jewish. The, 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 the people call I want to go back and talk about when the we're book talking of Revelation, about the book of Revelation, chapter Christ. two, we're gonna, we're gonna deal with that. verse okay. nine. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. So he's talking to the a real Israelites. They are impoverished, but they are rich because the kingdom of heaven is for them. Right, that's right. The church. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews. Who's well, saying they Jews right now in Israel? The Jewish man. Go ahead. And are not. They are not the Jews. That's they are right. not God's chosen people. But are the synagogue of Satan. Yes, so they are the devil. So now, let's go to where we were earlier. Ezekiel, Ezekiel 30, 35. I'm going to go back to talking about the bride. We're going to get to that. But I'm dealing with the Jew that's over there right now. So let's deal with this. Ezekiel 35 or 36. 36 and 5. Watch this. So we're going to see, according to the Bible, who's living in Israel right now. Watch the book right of here. Ezekiel, chapter 36 and verse 5. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, Surely in the fire of my jealousy have I spoken against the residue of the heathen. So, are you speaking against the residue of the heathen? Go ahead. And against all Idumia. Against Idumia. Go ahead. Which have appointed my land into their possession. So, right, the right. people that's living because in the they, land they're, now. They're not allowed to have their land. Because they, they, are I, the Palestine they are Idumia. All right, so I'm going to read this. Really I'm going to read this land. is what the scholars put together. This is the online etymology dictionary. Etymology is the history of words. So I'm going to read this. This is Israel. Hey, we didn't hey, write this. It says, citizen of the really state of Israel, 1948 from Israel. That's what we were trying to see. Oh, yeah. It says, also used in English as an S, it distinguishes the citizens of the modern state from the ancient people who have been known in English since 14 CE as the Israelites. That's okay, right. So those people over there are imposters. So now that's what that's, that's what the stuff. Okay, absolutely, because so. they're forbidden to ever have okay. their own place because they didn't kill the Palestine. They didn't kill God's role when they went in. Well, since we're dealing with we're dealing with women, children, all the So time. I'm dealing with your your what you were talking about with Christ, but we're dealing with the other side of the coin. We're showing that Christ could not be white. So now but it says I do be about his brass, we're talking about the college of white. They're not talking about So then what color was Christ then? Oh, always with that white shit. You with that supremacy shit. I call him a Solomon. You are who you are. You stole 400 million people over color and said it never happened. We are the result of you white people. We are the Because we left our true God. So we let a person like you. Okay, so Stand over it. That's, right. that's, that's what Allah said. Nah. That's what God hey, said. Hey, brother, calm down. I thought we were having a good time. We are. You we might be yeah. mad. Yeah. They always. I, you I, know, they always. Okay, I got one question. Just defend their wrong. They ain't right. The right. 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 book of Hebrews, chapter 7 and verse 14. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. So Christ and Solomon came from the same tribe. Right. So they're the same tribe. You understand that? That's the Bible says that. So now, I'm going to go back to the Bible. He's not the same color as you. That ain't his word. That's God. You don't think there's a different class of Judah? It's not a mix. It's not different tribes of Judah. I was 12 tribes of 13. It's actually different. Yeah, there's different shades of brown. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But I'm saying, but, 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 yeah, there's different, yeah. Not what? You don't have melanin in your skin, sis. Actually, according to Hebrew law, I am. No. Mother's, well, we're mother's talking about Bible. Law, so, you will yeah. fake it's you. Uh, Jew and Jew. Ain't no such thing as a white Jew. The big difference is the Jew and the Jew. There's no such thing. You are a Gentile. There's no such thing as a white Jew, man. No, 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 this is the book, Black Jews in Africa and the Americas. Right, right Page 10, Jews 
long depicted as dark or black. They always been depicted as dark or black. Christ was a Jew. We right. just read that. Go ahead. Were racially to do with Africa or Europe, and this inevitability caused consternation. So they argued between which one they were, but they were all black. Go ahead. Both in the United States and South Africa, Jews were certainly not perceived as white until around the time of the Second World War. See that? So nobody had ever heard of a white Jew until the time of the Second War. So now, right now, like I said, the people that's living in that, the people that's living in that land, they are a Do you understand it? Do you know what I do? Yes. The book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 68. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. So said, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. For he hath visited and redeemed his people. So he's redeeming his people. Go ahead. And have raised up in a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies. The Israelites should be saved from their enemies. Absolutely. And from the hand of all that hate us. Oh, that's talking about a people. That's not we talking about a spirit. Hate. So we now, we're we dealing with John 3, 16. Let's get that. Let's just pull that. So let's, let's understand that it's more than one world. You got the sports world. You got the animal world. You got third world countries. Okay, so let's see. Go ahead. The book of John, chapter 3, verse 16. Let's read it. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting right. life. Okay, so, so if we all believe in Jesus Christ, and we all believe that he died for our sins, and we all believe that he took our oppressions from us, it doesn't it matter what color he was. Okay, so let's hold on now. Hold on now. Okay, but just, hold on now. Just hold, on now. Hold, 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 hold on now. We said the world had more than one meaning. Get John 18. So let's see. Let's just go. But I'm saying, let's just see. Just, just give us a second. Right, just give us a second. The book of John. This is in the same book. Watch this right here. Chapter 18 and verse 20. I want y'all to listen to this. Jesus answered him, I spake openly to the world. Jesus spake openly to the world. That's what we just read, right? I ever taught in the synagogue and in the temple. Where the, the Jews always resort. Yeah. So who was the world that Christ was speaking to? Well, the Jews. To the Go the Jews. Let's, let's see it again. Lying. It's more than once. That's right. Resources right, right here. The temple, they they 17 and 9. Came, the John 17 and 9. In the same book now. Uh -huh. Listen to this. This book. is in the same book. Oh, John chapter 17 and verse 9. I pray for them. Christ said, I pray for them. Yeah. I pray not for the world. Keep going. Say it again. But for them which have given me, for they are thine. The Israelites were given to Christ. He don't pray for the world. This is telling you it's different worlds. Now get Isaiah 45 and 17. This is the world right here. This is, but this is going to give you a definition of the world right here, though. You know, over, over the chapter, she, uh, uh, she made a statement. I, I've been dealing with the past couple weeks, and they said things change. Nothing changed. Because the most I said, the Old Testament is set up as a place where I find our laws. Okay, let's get this right here. The book of Isaiah, chapter 45 and verse 17. This is the definition of the world. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded. World without end. So what did he call Israel? World, world without, without end. end. We already proved that it's different worlds. He's speaking because when you read John 3 and 1, that comes before 16, he's speaking to Nicodemus, the ruler of the Jews. He's not speaking to everybody. Thank God he got out of that So so now according to the Bible, you're a descendant of Esau. So that's that's who you're a descendant of. That's who you're a descendant of. So we can read about Esau, your forefathers. So let's read about that. Let's get that. 
Because you asked about repentance, so now this is dealing with Esau. The book of Hebrews, and his, and his, chapter 12 uh, and verse 16. Lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau. For one morsel of meat sold his birthright. <coughs> For ye know that how that afterward when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected. For he found no place of repentance. Though he saw it carefully with tears. Esau can't repent. Repentance is for the Israelites. That's all, right. All nations going into captivity under the Israelites when Christ return. It'll be a righteous captivity, but that's where they're going to go. Let's get that kingdom of heaven real quick. We're going to get Romans 3.10. We're going to get Romans 3.10. Let's get the kingdom of heaven. The book of Revelations. This is the kingdom of heaven. And then we'll get Romans for you. Chapter 21 and verse 12. And had a wall great and high, and it had twelve gates, and at the twelve gates twelve angels, and names written thereon, which are the names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. That's what the kingdom of heaven is for. It's not for everybody, sis. You know, that's that's just what the Bible says. It's for the children of Israel. These people right here on the sign, right here. So now we're going to get this scripture. That's what the Bible says. Two times, go to the Bible. Do you know that you're going to die? That's what I said. Yeah. So you believe you first died before you, and then you stand and rose again from the dead? The book of Acts. Let me call you. Chapter 5 and verse 31. Him have God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sin. That don't say everybody. You see that? That's saying Israel. That's a possessor. That's possessor. So Christ died for the Israelites. Only the Israelites were given the commandments. So how can you be forgiven for sins when you don't have any laws? You got to ask that question. How can you be forgiven for something when you don't have commandments? So, so I'm asking you a question though. So how can you be forgiven for sin when you don't have a command? Oh, that's, that's what I'm asking. You got to really think about that. Are you familiar with him? I actually am. I do what he said. Let's get Hey, read the name of the book. Read the name of the book. That the Christ of the Bible died for the sins of the Israelites. Yeah. That's what we believe. This is the book, the 13th tribe. He's coming back to redeem us from captivity. Page 17. Right now. That makes me happy. Yeah, because we're in captivity right now. I believe, which is different than what you believe, but for me, Romans 3 10 is what I'm saying. Jesus died for you. He died for you. We are going to end up in the same place. That is absolutely true. Let's I'm gonna, now, I'm going to get to I'm gonna get to the scripture. You want to read this, and then we're going to get you one more scripture. Okay, I got it. I've been reading to a rabbi, so let's just read this. This is what he wrote. He was a scholar, a Jewish scholar. Read this page 17. This was written before the full extent of the Holocaust was known. But that does not alter the fact that large majority of surviving Jews in the world is of Eastern European. Uh -huh. And thus perhaps mainly of Khazar origin. So yeah, they If so, this would mean that their ancestors came not from the Jordan, but from the Volga. Uh -huh. Not from Canaan, but from the Caucasus. That's why you get the term Caucasus. That right. means out of hey, the Caucasus Mountains of Georgia, Russia. Once believed to be the cradle of Aryan race, uh -huh. and that genetically they are more closely related to the Hun, uh -huh. Igor, and Magar tribes than to the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Right. So let's jump to the, point. the story of the Khazar Empire is as it slowly emerges from the past, begins to look like the most cruel hoax which history has ever perpetrated. So this is a Jewish scholar that said that. So, so now, now we talk about the kingdom of heaven and everybody being there together. 
I want you to translate this or interpret this. Yeah, Tell yeah, me your yeah, interpretation yeah. of this. Uh -huh. Isaiah 14. Book of Isaiah chapter 14. You, verse tell, me, you tell me you to interpret this for me. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. So that's the kingdom of heaven. Right. And the strangers shall be joined with them. The other nations. You agree and, with that? And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. And the, house, and the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. You interpret that. What is that saying? What is that saying about the Israelites in the kingdom of heaven? And the strangers. And what's going to happen to the strangers? That's right. And they shall take them captives whose captives they were. Service is going to be different. Service is going to be praise and worship. Read that part again. Listen to this. It's not going to be like a type of like actually like waiting for people. It's going to be like we're going to have like some people are going to be warriors. Go ahead. Read that again. And the and the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids, and they shall take them captives. Whose captives they were. Whose captives are we right now here in America? The Negro. No. Who's running the government? Five families. What nation five, of people run five, this country? Five families run this country. And they, what nation do they come from? What nation do they come from? They come from all of them. They come from Esau. That's, That's where they run them. They say they come from Esau. Most of them come from Europe. Europe. Yeah, we're the same thing. Esau, Europe, same thing. So the Bible is saying we're going to take them captives whose right. captives they were. Right. And, and they now, shall rule over their oppressors. So now, even like you, you might not have had nothing to do with slavery. Go to verse 21. You ain't got nothing to do with slavery. Verse, yeah. So I understand how you feel about that, but let's see what God says. Verse, verse 21. Prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers. So they got to yeah, pay absolutely. for what they did to the children well, right. of Israel. Yeah, you understand that? you coming through and and uh you know and sharing but that's going to be the future you understand so right now live it up that's what i would be doing i do live it up yeah okay, i, I sure would live it up to the I max work, because when price comes back hard, there's going to be swords fires and flames and Some of these people around here, they need to hear that. that that's what you guys are emulating is what Jesus Christ. Yeah, I mean, keep, you know, believing in Caesar. But I'm going to tell you right now, he's not coming back out of the sky. No. That's not how it's going to be. Nah, it's not going to happen. It's going to be a guy that looks something like that. And when he comes back, it's going to be a whole lot of people of going in chains. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. But on the other hand, it says, yeah. also in the Bible, that's not G B judge. So there's not gonna be anybody that's gonna judge. He's gonna do the judge himself. Oh, 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 oh I gotta address that. Uh -oh. Jesus Christ is gonna do the judging. See we got we gotta speak according to the Bible. What you're saying is contrary to the Bible. Go ahead and get that. Bring it out. The Bible says that's not you judge. The book of first Corinthians, chapter two, verse fifteen. Yeah. But he that is spiritual, so he that's keeping the commandments, because that's what it means to be spiritual, yeah, right. judgeth all things. So we can judge. As long as we're keeping the commandments, the scripture that you're quoting is talking about judging in hypocrisy. You're not that's supposed right. to do that. Right. But if you're keeping the commandments, then you well, can it's judge. Well, when you school your homie than when you judge somebody you don't know walking down the street. It's two different things. So that's what that means. It's you're allowed to judge your loved ones and and try to show that you, have to be, you can't around. tell somebody to do something. But I can't tell you because I don't know you and I'm on No, you can do that. You can correct somebody if you're right. If I'm, if I'm uh, messing with a whole bunch of women, how I look coming to this brother saying don't cheat on your wife. Right. I can't do that. You right. understand that? Yeah, so that's hypocrisy. Let's get that's this right.
home. There's, I'm Elder Nathaniel. Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates from all our YouTube channels. Shalom.